The pre-spawn is known to produce the biggest pike, and I've nearly lost count the amount of times I've came close to catching a 20 pound pike. But this fish, I think, is the closest I've gotten to a 20 pounder. And it all started during the mock exam when I was thinking to myself, I'm going to try the river because I haven't fished it in a while, because I've just been so focused on the canal. And because I've been using a lot of big lures and heavy gear, I wanted to try the lighter gear for a change to see if I get more of a fight out of a smaller fish. A few things I had to take into account was going to be the murky water and the river was also flooded due to the storms and rain we've had over the last two or three weeks. This spot I was going to fish is a familiar spot I fished a lot in the spring. However, it's not known as a big fish spot, at least not from my perspective anyway. To me, it's more of a number spot with my biggest fish there only being around seven or so pounds. So thinking I was only gonna get some small fish, I decided I was just gonna bring my light rod, which is the Savage Gear 5 to 18 gram x 3. And on there, I just use a little Okuma Skyliner size 2000, 3000, I think. And then on there I just have some 20 pound braid with a quite cheap wire trace there because I was only fishing jigs like around 5 to 10 grams. I also didn't bring my net or my scale because I was thinking there's only going to be small fish caught. And what's just perfect is the fact that the last 3 months every session I've been bringing my net and my scale and the one time I don't was this session. I started off using the Savage Gear Fat Tail Minnow going up the normal way up to the Roach Hall. But halfway up there I ended up changing to the Ricky the Roach Rud Cutter because it stood out a bit better in the water. And I decided to try the other side of the bridge where there was a private field since there was more trees and cover for Pike to hide in. This thing. Put a heavy lead in the oak, 10 grams. Feels alright, man. Oh yeah, oh, oh that's a good size. Not bad, I don't have a net now, so I have to be very careful with this fish. On the roach. I don't go downstream, don't go downstream. It's a very small treble on that lure. He's got seven, eight pound. Okay. Oh, it's holding that current, you know. Light gear. This is what I want to do. Get the light gear on the pike. It's a good fish here for a flood water. Heavy move. Good fish. Good fish. Don't know how big he is there because he was out far. Oh god. Okay, we move them up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Doesn't feel bad. I'm going to play them real lightly because I have a really small treble on that lure. Come on up. We have a look at you. Oh, he's, just, he's not coming up. He's not going to like the surface. Let's see if now he's going to. Oh! Oh! That's big! Oh my god! I didn't realise he was that big! Holy sh man! That's 16 pounds! Oh, okay, I cannot lose this. I don't know how big this is. I don't know, I don't think it's 20 now. Oh my god, could you imagine if it is? Oh my god. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. 
Did not expect to get a fish this big. I don't mean that with me. I don't know how I'm getting them in now, to be honest. I'm trying them as gently as I can. Woohoo! No wonder he won't come up, sure. I think he's hooked well, but I don't know. God, oh my god, oh my god. Light gear as well. It's about 10 minutes before I have to go home. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god! Oh my god! How am I getting them? Alright, come on, head up, head up, head up. I don't think it's 20, but it's not a bad fish. Uh, oh, there's such a big back on him, you know? He's wrapped in that line, I gotta be careful. Okay, so I want them more there. Oh, that's a huge mouse. I don't have a scale. Jesus, I think I know anyways. It's again him. Dude, are you kidding me? Pre-spawn and all. See, this is where I want him, because now I can push him onto the bank. Oh, that's such a big head. That's such a big head. Onto the bank, onto the bank, onto the bank, onto the bank, what are you doing? Shit. Oh man, I don't know how big that is. Right, the top from is huge, he's just like, not very long. This is probably about the size of fish I lost now in... See, he's in a good position there, because what I can do is I can drag him on. 16 all day, boys. How deep is that? Show me that face. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus, this fish has got some power to him. I think he was saving that energy. Oh, look at the length of him out there, like. It's just in the corner, it's a tiny trouble. Like, you've no idea how small that is. It's like something I'd use for a little tiny trout crankbait. Stop. Just don't go again. Oh, just stay, stay, stay. Oh, geez, if he comes off now. I'm not thinking about that wire trace, that's quite an old trace. No, now he's now. I don't want him there. This is where the heavy rods come in handy because I can't bully him against the current like a heavy rod. I think uh, he's too big to like bring in like the way I want him to. I have to get him. Oh, come on. I'm in a tangled. Oh, 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 oh. Easy, Tan. Easy. Come here, come here, come here. Oh. Come on, buddy. Turn your head, turn your head, turn your head. No! Just gentle, gentle, gentle. Gentle, 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 gentle. The little mouth on him! Boys, I don't know how big that is, you know? Size of the mouth. Oh, he nearly bit me. You bitch. No! Stop. I haven't. Are you f***ing serious, boys? Are you serious? Boys, how big is that? That's a 15, I'd say. 15, 16, 17. He's not quite 20. Look at the little shad. All right, there's a little bit of water there I can rest him in. What the Keep in mind around this point I had the fish rested for about 5 minutes now, because he did fight for around 10 minutes, and with a big fish like that, 
during this time of the year you want to make sure they go back as healthy and as strong as possible you don't want to send them to a big current exhausted so that was my main focus before getting the camera out for a picture oh, man before i get the hook over <sighs> Woo! that is a big fucking fish i don't know what to say man this bridge i the biggest fish i've caught in this spot is six seven pounds this thing is more than twice the size of that <sighs> oh that's so tonight's fish it's a shame it owe me scale on me bear back for a little bit of a drink i will say thank god for a flooded river because i can just rest her right near the bank and it's fully oxygenated now this is what i was worried about look at that little hook there uh really one of those hooks is barbless and oh look straight out little tiny treble Look at that. A bit of infection on her there. Right, she's going right back where she came from. One last goodbye. Bye-bye. Man, we'll only guess how big that fish was, but look at her down there. She hit there a really tiny little Ricky the Roach. And like, this is what I was saying, like, that hook is ridiculous. I've won them as a pin. Oh, what? Hit me just by that tree there. I am speechless. Now, if there's one thing you should take away from this video is to expect the unexpected. And always prepare in advance because you don't know what you're gonna hook upon each cast you make. But that's the beauty of fishing. You just got to expect it, even on your least likely days.